Hi, I'm Jessica Citizen from Player Attack and we're here at E3 2012 and I'm with Rowan from Insomniac Games and we are talking about Outernauts, which is coming to Facebook uh, very soon, I hear. Yeah, summer. Summer, mm -hmm. which is not our summer, it's the other summer. Yes, it is, it is the, <laughs> the Northern Hemisphere summer. So the game is currently in beta, and what sort of responses have you been getting from, from the masses of beta testers who've been checking this one out? Well, um, we've had a really good time so far, actually. Oh. We've uh, closed beta is going really well, uh, got a lot of good feedback. Actually, it's fun to have, uh, have friends actually playing the game, mm -hmm. so they're talking about it as well. Um, I think when it comes down to it, uh, a lot of closed beta for us has been about tuning and making sure that the actual... Uh, progression of the player and the beast uh, is all makes you know sense and is fun and that kind of stuff so uh, it's been really good so far. So I, I think we've, we've possibly got ahead of ourselves a bit here. Sure. Can you tell us about Outernauts? What Can are these do. beta testers actually playing? Sure. Uh, yeah, Outernauts is a deep story driven RPG on Facebook. Um, it's about capturing and training beasts for combat in a wild untamed universe. So you have um, Basically, you'll have a team of beasts that you go around and kind of capture to bolster. Uh, and it's about going through this, this kind of large, grandiose story that you would expect from uh, the size of what you'd expect from a console game. Um, it's on the kind of scale of the biggest games that Insomniac has ever made. Uh, so it's, like I said, it's, it's not this, it's huge, right? So, uh, so it's all tied in with... Um, like a deep, uh, deep core like gameplay. Uh -huh. So we've got it's all about battling beasts, right? So one v one, two v two, three v three battles, uh, and it ends up kind of culminating to make this really like huge experience that you'd expect on the kind of scale of something that you'd be playing on your handheld or your console. So what benefits does the Facebook platform bring to you guys? Why is this not on a handheld or a console? Right. Uh, the, the two biggest things for me are um, obviously, well, I mean, it really comes down to playing with your friends, right? So, or playing with anyone, really. So in Outer Knots, anyone, uh, anyone who's playing the game at all, you can battle them in a PvP, like on PvP leaderboards. So we've got a huge extensive system for that. Um, and we also have these things called dungeons, which are, are kind of like a co-op uh, like cooperative, I invite my team and we all run through a, a kind of area together. All these things are asynchronous, so it means that I'll be, you know, I can play whenever I want and uh, not have to have my team there at the same time, which I think really works for the platform and the kind of people that play. So, um, yeah, to us, that's those are the biggest things, is just being able to be interconnected with everyone else playing out or not at the same time. Social games are, are the next big thing. They are the new black. So... <laughs> So th there are leaderboards, there are, there are leveling up, mm -hmm. it, it has all of the, the usual things that you would expect to see from a social game. Does it have what is new and exciting and, and, and something that you guys do that nobody else does? Um, to me, it's, it's the biggest thing for us is the core gameplay. It's, it's having a, a deep system where you're constantly getting new beasts, there's, there's you know, there's dozens of beasts with their own evolutions, there's hundreds of beast abilities to master. Uh, it ends up adding up for this really deep system where strategy is really rewarded. Um, and that's something that uh, I certainly don't expect when I play a Facebook game. Um, it's something that I certainly expect when I play a console game, and it's something that I really want to see more on Facebook. Insomniac is pretty well known for console games, uh, the Resistance series being the, the most recent sure. big huge thing. Mm -hmm. What's it like, uh, you, you worked on Resistance, yes. what's it like changing from working on something like that to working on something like this? Well, um, technically I think a lot of our programmers on the Outernauts team would tell you it's completely different. Uh, there's a lot of different, uh, you know, kind of systems and, and code bases that you have to learn and stuff like that. As far as design side, which which obviously that is my profession, so um, for me, uh, designing a good game is not really different regardless of platform. Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, there was obviously Resistance and Outer Knots are very different games when it comes down to the design, but. Um, but those core tenets of how do I make a game fun and how do I make people like really invested in, in the story, in the world, in the gameplay, um, those questions honestly normally have the same answers regardless of platform. 
Excellent. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.